Our buddies at Timex. You know, Timex watches. Mm -hmm. They came up with 500 watches that are tied to the Bored Ape NFT crap. Interesting. (laughs) I'm not into this (laughs) NFT stuff. And it's, I'm surprised because this is getting kind of a bad rap lately. Mm -hmm. Because in case you didn't know, there's like some big lawsuit and all these celebrities are involved in a class action suit with Bored Ape. Thinking, wow. calling it, it was some kind of NFT fraud. Oh, wow. Plus, the value of NFTs has dropped crazy mm-hmm. in the last two, three, four weeks. But anyway, Timex, they doubled down. They still have it. I mean, maybe they started this project a while ago, and they've already got it all invested. Yeah. So. Quite possible. So, but still, I don't know if I would put my name on something like this that's controversial, that people are losing money on. Yeah. I don't know. But. I don't know. So the deal was that if you're if you're an existing board ape holder or whatever, mm-hmm. you have access to these watches. And the watches, like I said, there's only 500 of them and each watch is individual. It's only got the one ape that you own on the face. Mm. So it's there's not another one like it. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. But cuz it's a physical thing, then you can say, "Oh, it's collectible." Yeah. It's not like a <laughs> air. You know, <laughs> I think NFT, the whole NFT thing is I don't know. I just I'm, I'm not a I'm not a fan, and I don't get it. And maybe I'm just a moron because I went to public school in Texas. And <laughs> anyway, that's where we are with that. So, all right, way to go, Timex. I guess. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have about that.